Hi everyone, Muriel here. Just wanted to come and share with you this haul I did, my Hobby Lobby, finally yesterday. Was it Tuesday? Yes, yesterday. Um, slashed prices on the merchandise. So um, it was all over the store. It was everything you can imagine. And not to mention that paper pads were 50% off and it just went on and on and on. So I clearly was just looking for yellow stickers or orange stickers or whatever color the stickers were and picked up a few things. And I needed to go to Joann's and from Joann's, or was this at Hobby Lobby? This may have been at Mm, Joann's. I did need to get some floral wire and I'll show you why because I altered a project for Halloween. So let's get started. So this beautiful uh, craft toolbox was a $3.24. I'm glad I got it. I am going to two crops. One in October. Just got the email for that one. And then the uh, annual one I go to the Wild Woman's Weekend is in November, got the email for that. So I have two crops that I'm going to go to. We're going to be in single beds, um, six foot tables, six feet apart. I probably won't spend the night because I live close to both of these. Actually, the location is the same spot, but different people hosting them. So I'll probably be coming home in the evening and let that person have the bedroom by herself. So, but I can't wait because I have so many things that I want to work on that I don't want to work on here at home. I want to go somewhere else so I can like spread it all out and just have fun with it. But Hobby Lobby um, did have it and I bought this case, this toolbox. Thought it was really nice. Let me show you some of its features. First of all, you have this ruler on top. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not, but you can kind of see that it got some measurements. Uh, 11 inches, nice sturdy handle that folds down. Then these two little clips here open up and that opens up to compartments. Compartments, right? Anything and everything can go in there because we like compartments. So then that closes and then the handle here opens up and there's more. So there's a top tray and this was uh, what I picked up at Joann's. I love getting this sulky shimmer, hollow shimmer threads. And as always, they had buy three and get two free. So I have Christmas red. Uh, I don't know if that's a Christmas green or a lime. Uh, like a mermaid, black, and then this other color. Now I have um, put them in the drawer with my other one. So I may have even mixed up what I purchased because I thought I had more of a Christmas Christmas green so I may have shown the well maybe not maybe I didn't maybe I got another Christmas red so yeah so I have two reds now and I've had silver and I've had this one which is that one and I have the black which is that one and then blue and and um like a iridescent color so but I love these metallic threads so we'll put these all back but yes buy two buy three get two free so then you have all of this storage up here just like a toolbox right just like a chick's toolbox so then that can go there and then you have whatever you're going to put in here what I have to show you are the dies that I found for like $3.74. So there's this one here. This is 17 pieces. Oh my goodness. With the butterfly. Some leaves, some stems, some flowers. The inners of the flowers. The biggest one is pretty nice. That's a pretty nice size. And there's that butterfly. Pretty nice size. Okay, so this is a... I don't know who the designer is. And then I got this one, Snowflake. Sorry for that. My window's open, you can hear the sirens. I don't know where they're going. But this is two giant snowflakes. Can't wait, just two of them. So you can kind of see what they look like here. And there's the Sizzik one, another one with 13 dyes. Oh my gosh, leaves and petals and the inners. Nice size flower though, nice size leaves. Peony pop-up is what it's called. So it looks like I'll be cutting out at least three of those to make it dimensional. 
And then I got this Sizzik die. This is a Tim Holf die. I can't wait to look it up after I finish with you guys. I'm going to look it up online because this just looks like, um, it looks like a piece of wood, like the layers of wood. And I think one of his designers used it that way and did something. So this has five dies in there and they're nice size. This is called Stacked Baroque. Okay, 374. Then I got this one here, excuse me. And this is nine pieces, thin dies. I don't know if it talks about the shape or not, but you can kind of see what that looks like. And that's pretty big, because my hand, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty big one. And then I got a Sizzik Thinlets, another one by Tim Holtz, and I love this honeycomb. Um, die. I just like that look. I've seen it on many, many cards. I want to try to duplicate it. I want to cut it out with um, some bolts of wood. I have some really thin bolts of wood, and I want to see how that looks. Cut out with that. Two dies, 424. And then another Tim Holtz die. This has three dies, so you get this really intricate uh, die to make that leaf. This is called poinsettia pieces interesting and then the two leaves okay 324 and of course more flowers i cannot you know i do stash a lot of flowers but they were like decades old so i'm bringing in some different ones so there's this beautiful one here and i love those sugar leaves always look good and then there's this one here and these are paper studios a dollar 49 beautiful beautiful colors and then, of course, two more of these. I already took like three the last time I was there. And then I got two more because I love the feathers on these. Just gives me lots of ideas. These were $1.24 each. And then lastly, this one here. And it looks like it has script writing on the flowers. Really, really pretty. $1.49. And then I got some of these antique gold class. Um, three of them with the pins. Two of these, which looks like sunflowers, which are going to be really pretty on some fall cards. And that was that. So we'll put this back in here. And I'm done with my Hobby Lobby hauling. Um, and then I want to show you my Halloween um, project that I did. I um, bought the item from Target's Dollar Spot. And I decided to um, alter it. And again, I needed the floral wire because I use my um, makeup bow. What is it called? The bow, hand bow, hand pro, the hand, this thing here. I use this. I finally pulled this out to make this bow. Now, I've made some bows that I've seen tutorials on YouTube called the funky bow. I've made those, but I don't like... Um, cinching the ribbon between my fingers and holding it and working with six different uh, ribbons and still having to hold it. I mean, you get arthritis in your hands. So me and my sister bought one of these last year when she was here. Um, she bought one and then I ordered me one and she made all the bows um, that we made for the reefs that we made. So it comes with an instructional videos that's on the website, but it comes with instructions. You get the spool holder, which is always good, which is this thing right here where you could have all your spools of uh, ribbon and you just work it. Amazing bow in three minutes and they weren't lying. So I now am no longer intimidated on making a bow. I have plenty of ribbon, so I decided to use it when I altered this witch broom. And I'm just going to take a sip of this ginger tea because my throat is so dry. Yummo, yummo. So, this was the little broom that was in the uh, dollar spot. It's all glittery. It's all sugary. Um, it has a nice little wooden handle and a um, piece of twine or whatever to uh you can hang it on your door and i decided to use the, the uh, ribbon that i had and made me a bow and this is some ribbon from jc penny which um i really do like jc penny's wired ribbon it's such a um, good ribbon and i just used two of the two inch and then one of the uh one inch and just made this bow and it's so pretty 
So I used to attach it some of my jewelry wire, which is okay, but um, on the tutorial, she used the floor wire. So I wanted to try the floor wire because I don't want to use up my jewelry wire with all the bows that I plan on making. So this is going to go on the door this year. I normally have a wreath, but I don't think I have any more Halloween wreaths. Um, because when I make them, I like to have them up for two years and then I say, okay, good. Well, this is yours just so I can kind of replenish. So I think this year I'm going to put the broom on the door and that's going to say it all. Yes. A witch lives in this house. <laughs> So that's my project, you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I hope that if you did score one of these brooms, that you change it up a bit. Just not leave it as a broom broom, but maybe put a bow on it like I did here. So thank you guys for watching, and I'm sure you are going to be quite delighted with some of the Halloween projects that I hope to. I hope. I'm not going to promise anything, but I have a few things that I want to do. So this being one of them, and I'm, I'm so happy that I got it done. So until my next video, you guys take care. Thanks again for watching. Bye now.